Hello everyone, I'm Nick from nextstepnick.com. I'm joined today by Z1 and only. Hello Z. Hello Nick, hello from the other side of the pond. Hello, so we've been playing a bit of Vulcanoids. There's been a co-op mode that's been released with that. So I thought, what better to do than to have a play on that? We've been playing a lot of uh, Seven Days to Die recently. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, and this, this, this game has very much very similar vibes to Seven Days to Die, I would say. Yeah, I, I would totally agree with you. There's that whole sort of survival element. There's that building and crafting element. I would say that it needs a little bit of work when it comes to optimization. I mean, when you went in, you saw this really beautiful world and it looked lovely. And then meanwhile, when it was me, it was like I had all these conflicts in regard to my tech. And I don't know why, but I think there was some real issue where it just did not get on with my hardware. But how did you find the game from what you played? Well, first off, uh, you, you said you took random damage while you were peering through the periscope, correct? Yeah, I did. I took random damage when I was looking through the periscope. I got stuck. Yeah, that was me. Was that you? Yeah, no, I, I swung a pickaxe at you and it, it hurt you. So I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't tell him. And I didn't. Right. Everyone who is listening to this, I didn't know that at the time. I was like, wow, this is weird. I'm taking damage. This is. I am finding this out for the first time now. Right. Okay. Don't worry. No hard feelings, but I'm... Oh. But, um, but how have but, you found the game? Well, like I said, I, I really like oh, look, that's where you crashed. And um, yeah, but I, I really liked it. I, I definitely think it has has potential for for the most part. I mean, we, we didn't get very far in it, but it, it didn't feel like there was much of a goal in a type of sense. Everything you can do pretty quick. Then again, like I said, I, I we didn't play it very much. So there, there could be things I'm missing, but and for the most part, I really like the concept. I really like that. Yeah. You know, you know, you're, you know, like all survival games, you're at this island. I would really, really like to see the buildings have a little bit more of a role, like go into the buildings and such like that, or you know, mine the buildings. Yeah. I really like this aspect right here with the drill going down and traveling underground. I, I thought that was a really neat feature. I really like that as well. I think that's one of the main things in this. The difference from most survival games is that you've got this big this big drill kind of platform that you can customize and build on and you collect resources and upgrade this drill. That being said though, I think it was so over complex. There's some real moments where you think this shines, you know, the, the graphics look amazing at certain points and there's some really nice high points, but I feel like the actual interface and the screens that you're using to like customize the drill it feels so clunky. I don't know if you thought that. Yeah, I, I do agree. And I just want to take a moment here. I really liked how after the volcano erupted, it was like a nuclear fallout. I really liked the ash falling from the sky. I really liked how dreary everything looked. But but yes, I, I, I do agree. The interface was very not user-friendly. I, I, I mean, I I play these games all the time, even you know years and years before I even started my own channel. So I've, you know, it didn't take me very long to realize, okay, this is that, this is that. But, like, like here, you know, there's object, there's online character. For a while, I had no idea what online meant. I thought, you know, I was like, what well, am I uploading my items to a cloud? Is that what's going on? And then, you know, eventually figure out, oh, it's, it means, you know, it's online. It's linked to all the other, to all the other storage. It's so busy. I think that's the problem I've got with it is it's so busy. So you can see on the right hand side, we've got like our tasks. Then you've got these two open screens, but then every single thing inside your drill also has a screen and a light and a number and a box and an image. And then there's all different storage and you go in and it's, you're just bombarded by different screens. And the text for me looks very much like someone's written it in like Arial. Right. So I'm like, this doesn't look like a real world. And I thought the map as well, the underground map when you're traveling underground, it, it's just basically a JPEG picture, and I feel like that needs a bit of work. I think there's some real beautiful aspects to this game, and there's some really, like you said, there's some real interesting things here that could be grown, but at the moment, it's just, I think it's too early. And, and that's that, that's the you know, that's the thing. I, I treat this more as a kind of a proof of concept. I mean, this game, I, I mean, I don't know much about, but I know it's been out long before, you know, they got this multiplayer aspect done. But like the underground map, um, I, I, I thought, Personally, the underground map was was fine, mostly because you know you, you can't look outside the periscope while you're underground. It's very basic, kind of like a sonar type of idea. I would say regarding the underground, to have a small tutorial <laughs> regarding it, because yeah. for a while I was roaming around, I was like, you know, how do I surface? And it turns out there's spots you surface at. You, you don't just surface. The tutorials were kind of lacking overall. I felt there was a there's like a picture screen. 
that sort of amounts to the tutorial, but a lot of the time you're just sort of thrown to the wild. And I feel like there's a lot of stuff here, like even with the combat, there's this auto lock on aspect that enemies tend to use. I mean, I remember it happened to yourself and it happened to me later on as well, where you're moving through these really beautiful, attractive areas and sort of finding interesting stuff. But for the most part, you know, you find houses, the doors don't open, you fight against robots, but there's no real reason for them to be there. It feels like this kind of world where there are certain things that look great, but they don't really look like they interact with each other. So, you know, you've got this really steampunk drill that travels underground, and then the houses are just kind of houses, and there's no real interaction. And the robots as well, they just don't really fit. They, they are steampunk-ish. I suppose, but they don't really seem to, there's no real reason for them to be there, and they seem to just lock onto you and attack from everywhere. I mean, as you saw in the video, at the house you were just at, the door had a light up like it was going to open, but it didn't open, so that might be, you know, signs that they are planning for at least some of the houses to be able to, you know, go in and explore, and yeah, this game is early access, and the sense of urgency when the volcano is about to erupt, and the sirens going off, and I mean, here I was far away from the drill. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I think that's a really nice, unique thing as well, is that there's this whole volcano looming, and at any point it could explode. And it's really... It's a fun game. But I think it just needs work. It's still early access, and, you know, the robots... I was kind of quite surprised by the robots being there. I thought I was, like, different humans, steampunk, gold rush type sense. I was kind of surprised by the robots. But since it is an early access, we might yeah. not have I all the stories. I think I've there. seen stuff in early access that's far more rough than this. And I think this has a real unique premise. I just really, I'm always wary with early access because of the support. You never know how long that support's going to go on for. And I, I hope they do support this. I hope it does grow. It's got that really interesting aspect of having the drill as your hub town that can kind of move around and having this whole idea of kind of growing this area that you can then move and kind of dodging this volcano before it explodes. I really like that, but I just hope they continue to support it and maybe we'll see something great. Hopefully, I, I would really like to, to see something with the with the ocean around the island. Even if, you know, you don't go super far out, but, you know, like be able to make like a steampunk old timey dive suit. And like, you know, let's say, you know, there's there's oil in abundance at the ocean floor they have to go to. That'd be really cool. But, but definitely, I, I, would, I would really like to see this game flesh out more. I, I really hope it does get abandoned like the plague of so many early access games that yeah. they look promising then you, they die. <laughs> and I, it makes me sad. I totally agree. But thank you very much for joining me today, Z. Uh, where can people find your content if they do want to watch some of your stuff? Z1 and only on YouTube, as, as you saw at the end of the video. You just search that I should pop out. That's where I post most of my things. I do have a Twitter at only underscore Z. 1N. I'm not sure why I set it up like that, but it did set it up like that. Well, and thank you very much, guys. Please don't forget to head over and check out Z's channel. It's definitely worth it. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and head over to the next step, Nick.com for all the latest news, reviews, and articles. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Good night.